So legend, right? That is a probably a a, a big jump, say, mm. from like governors mm. to that sort of scale yeah. production. Um, how was that feeling, bro? Like, was it? Were you a little bit nervous? Were you, you must have been nervous, excited? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was kind of a a big a big. Yeah, it was. It was. It was a big jump. I remember, like, I w the audition. For, actually, I'll that's tell you. Just, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah. How was it going? I'll tell you. Well, it was interesting how it came about in a way because I was. Um, ah, oh, that this nah, this answers the question before as well. So I did a series called Our Girl. Our Girl. Okay. I never say Our Girl. Our Girl. And I Boy. I Boy, I think was after Legend, maybe, oh, but really? okay. maybe, but 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 I did this series in. When we were we were in South Africa for like six months, and when we were coming towards the end of it, this actor Simon said to me, "Oh, he said, um, did you get that audition? Like actors do that a lot. They'll say to each other, like, oh, we heard about this audition, oh, and he said, for like film about the Cray Twins, and me being like Mister East London, and he was he was Scouse, and I was like, no, what, what, what do you mean? And he was like, yeah, Tom Hardy's playing the twins, and obviously at that time as well, Tom, I mean, Tom Hardy's obviously still a big actor, but that was when he was like." Bronson and you know it was yeah, kind yeah. of like he was like like flavor of the month as my nan would say and uh he um so obviously I would like call up my agent I was like why have I not got this audition like blah 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 and um and then and then we and then I can't remember I ended up I got one of the auditions and then a really weird thing happened is that the character I played was my like my great uncle, so my nan's cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. like his, it, well, one of his Your family boys. knew him. Yeah, so I ended up going and meeting this uncle. And we sat down a bit like this, really, and I put my phone on record and he just talked me through this geezer just from like when he Leslie was young. Holt. Yeah, yeah. He said he was a, he was a robber. He used yeah. to go around robbing yards and that. And yeah, then he yeah, got yeah. his way into... He, he, was a, he was a mad kind of... Um, Yes, like yeah, he, he, he sociopathic in a sense. You know, he was he, he he worked his way up through hook or by crook kind of thing, and he kind of started. Yeah, he, he got what he wanted in a way, but I mean, he, he ended up getting like killed basically. But he um yeah, he got through into the aristocracy, and then he was working in just as you can imagine now, like just one of them geezers. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. he's just I, I don't, that's a bit. Back of then, it was probably a lot easier to sort of fucking wangle your mm. way into like positions that he did. Yeah, he, yeah. Just a crafty bastard, really. Crafty bastard, and he used things like you know, he used his sexuality. He was kind of that went out the window. He would just you you and you know, it's that was the impression I got when I was piecing together things people had said about him from all different walks of life. And so when I went into the audition and they started saying to me, they spoke about the character a little bit. I sort of was like. Let me stop you there, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what a boss. <laughs> yeah, which which which, uh, which worked in a way because she the wo the woman casting director um she she um she was really excited. She was actually just like, oh great, like tell me stuff. Um, so then when I got I got called back and the director was there and then we, so it was just a really amazing universe loop thing where it just all came together in a way. Um, and then yeah, and then I got got the part, and and that was that. How do they how do they tell you, you get a part? Is it email? Is it like when you get into uni or like what is it, bro? Uh, do you know what? I was in I was in Berlin with Harley, yeah. and we were walking along the road, and my agent just called me up, and he was like, "I've got some unbelievable news for you." He's like, "You've got that part in Legend," and I bang, yeah, lovely. I remember. I really remember it really well. We got, I mean, we just got so gassed. Went out. And then <laughs> <just> gonna, <yeah. laughs> Obviously, what else are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, we just went straight to Soho House. I think and we just like end up going out and uh, and yeah, and then and then my, de my yeah, and then was, yeah, brother, and that's then, what yeah, you need to know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 and then a few of our mates were coming out. It was one. It was a night. It was a nice time. That that was a really nice moment because that happened. Loads of our friends come out to Berlin. They were already coming out, and we just had a sick week. And then. And then that was on the horizon, so, yeah. Sick. Yeah. All right, so you got the part, you're buzzing, you're in Berlin, you get yard, hanging. You've gone, <laughs> you've got, you've gone to the set. You've got, you've got Tom Hardy, you're working with him. What's he like to work with? You must not get asked this all the time, bro. I'm sorry for a bait question, right. it? but he's a sickhead, though. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If you were in Batman, I'll rate you, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I do. I, yeah, I mean, I was, I, I was just... I was nervous because I'd like openly idolized him. 
So a bit really? like, you, you know, like he's a sick head and all that. And like, I think as well, I, d I don't know whether I'd said it to people, but if people would ever ask me about acting and whatnot, I'd be like, oh yeah, I saw this thing with Tom Hardy, it was The Take. Did you ever see The Take? Nah, man. Watch the tape. Yeah, yeah. Sick. Okay, yeah, watch okay. the tape. Um, <laughs> uh, um, but it was like one of his early things that he did. And I just, I remember watching it and just being like, Rah. like, not only is this like unbelievable, I remember like slyly being like, yeah, I can do that. I can do, I know deep down somewhere in me, I can do that, but I don't know how I'm going to do it. What, that you've got it in your locker? Yeah, no, not like to just play that part, but I was like, I can whatever he's doing. This is when I was young. I was like, yeah, I yeah. know I can do that. Do you know that feeling? Yeah, it's not yeah. really. I know a, that feeling, you know that bro. feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And like anyway, so I kind of carried that with me a bit. So then when I got that, obviously I was a bit like, rah, this is a bit mad universe thing. Mm -hmm. And um, and I uh, and then and then I got, and then it was quite good because I got on set and all my nerves and stuff were obviously there. And then he's just in character. So your nerves get, I hadn't had that before. I'd never experienced like someone being in character when they're not shooting, when everyone's walking about, everyone's chatting. He's putting people in. Which one is he though? So he was, he was, uh, Every, Ron, he was day. Ronnie. Cause I was with him when he was Ronnie all the time, which is the one who's oh, yeah, the, like yeah. a bit psychotic and, yeah, yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, so me. he's putting people in headlocks <laughs> and he's like, he's got like cigar. He's like, oh mate. And I, I, you know, I just, I didn't even, it was perfect because I basically, all of my ego and all of my own like anxiety and narcissism about, it just got smashed. It, what, like, yeah, like, you know, you have that build up of anxiety and then it's like, you know, it sort of comes out left, right and centre and, and it just got basically just blown out the window. It was, it was so good as an actor. I just like, you know, kind of, we got in, they were kind of saying action and there was another actor, Taron, and he'd obviously, I think he'd been filming already. So he knew, he knew the coup, do you know what I mean? He knew what was going on and they just start talking, talking. And I'm thinking, I was standing there, I'm in the scene. I've got the camera and I'm thinking, fuck it. I'm like, I ain't learned this thing. Cause they're just chatting like this. And I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking, I ain't got this. They're giving me a different script here. Like, what's going on? But I just start going with it. I was just going with it. Like it really was a, a proper moment of like, just blag, blag, just go with it. And I realised very quickly that they just, he just weren't sticking to script. Oh, is it? So okay. it weren't some like big, you know, they weren't. Did they it, had, is it in the cut? Is it in the film? A lot of that film so, is improvised. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, a lot of that. There's like a, very, there's a structure obviously because there's a story. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, of course. But, but it, it yeah, I, I, I didn't experience any of that. So for me, it was just unbelievable really. So did you just roll with it then? When they're just chatting and then the, and you're, you're filming, obviously you're recording. Yeah. yeah? And then what, you're just like rolling with just it. And going just going with it. And then, because a lot of the stuff he was doing as well. Well, I was pranking out though, because you're thinking, I don't know what I meant whilst, to do. Yeah. <laughs> but again, again, do you know what? It was it was perfect because it even that, with like the improv thing, it wasn't like a planned improv. Like, oh, we're going to improv now, guys. And everyone's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, let's oh, make right, some jokes. Shit, yeah, freestyle it was like, quick. Yeah, it's Long. not like, you're not someone going to like, come on, you're a spit, come on, do quick back to me. It's yeah, just exactly. natural. It's really organic. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good analogy. So it was like, it was perfect. And I, by the end of the scene, and also because it it felt so natural, it wasn't this like, a bit cringy type like improv, which can like sometimes happen if it's just not organic. I was just gassed. I was like, bro, I was like, I'm actually like on set, and I'm improving with like some of my idols, and I think it's all right. I think, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now what a feeling, mate. Yeah, I was like, I think it's gone all right, and I was kind of. So it was just a nice, yeah, it was a nice foundation that first day to go into the rest of filming. It just was a slow confidence builder. Was that and first day? Was, was that first day? It was the first day. Oh no. It was the first day, it was the first scene. And it was in, it, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're going, I don't even know this one. I don't even know what's going on. I know. Yeah, sick. I know, it was sick, it was. It was Matt, I know, it was, it was fair. I ain't fooling. Don't wanna get old and you don't call in, that's not Even when I'm older, if I'm still here I wanna make Let's get closer, more time I can't believe it